Hey guys, what's up? It is Michael from Lean Body Lifestyle. And today, what I'm going to show you guys how to do is actually make a really delicious salad. And salad's one of the most requested recipes that I get on my Facebook page, which will be down below. I'd appreciate it if you come by and like it. But um, in the meantime, I'm going to show you guys how to make a salad. And what we're going to need is some tuna. Um, I have some frozen peas in this bowl, about half a cup. Um, if you like them, you can use them. If not, you can leave them out. So uh, first off, what we're gonna do is open up this can of tuna, and the nice thing about tuna is it's basically like chicken, except it's cheaper and you could just eat it right out of the can if you wanted. So a lot of people say that they don't have enough time to cook uh, lunch while they're at work. Um, just take a can of tuna, you can just drain it out and eat it right out of the can. But with this salad, I'm gonna show you guys how to make this taste a lot better. So let's get started. So I've got my bowl of frozen peas here and I'm going to add the tuna that I just drained uh, right on top of it. And then what I'm going to do is take about three egg whites and add that into the bowl as well. And this is just preference. I like Tabasco sauce. It's going to give it a nice flavor. Uh, a little bit more spice so I'm going to add a little bit of that in there as well. And I also have a pan here heating up on medium heat. Um, we're going to cook this obviously, but go ahead and stir this up. And I'm also going to add in a little bit of Fiesta Lime seasoning. This is just a salt free seasoner. Again, this will give it more taste. So now that we have the tuna all mixed up here, uh, we're going to throw it on the stove for a little bit. This shouldn't take more than three minutes to cook. You're just going to take a little bit of nonstick cooking spray and spray that on the pan. and then add the tuna and let that cook, put a lid on it and kind of mix it up with a spatula. And again, it shouldn't take more than three minutes. So in the meantime, while the tuna is cooking, um, what I'm gonna do today is actually just use a bag of lettuce. These are actually uh, $2 and they're already pre-washed and they come with a lot of greens already mixed in. This one has some peas, some radishes and romaine lettuce and carrots just all mixed in into the bag so it's going to give it a nice taste. There's a lot of different vegetables in here so just open this up and you can put it in a bowl and when I eat this I normally eat a whole bag and that may seem like a lot but really one whole bag of this only has about 80 calories so that's what I'm going to do today. And now, while this is still cooking here, um, for the dressing, it's basically preference, but I'm gonna kinda give you guys some things to steer away from. Uh, definitely steer away from ranch, even this is a light ranch. And only two tablespoons has 80 calories, which is just as many calories as this entire bowl of lettuce. So that's just something to think about, and not to mention this is loaded with fat. Um, maybe a light Italian dressing would be good. Um, a kind of mustard. Mustard actually makes a great dressing and that's what I'm going to use today. Coarse ground mustard. It's actually zero calories. So I'm going to add a little bit of that on top, kind of mix it up and then we're going to add a little bit of olive oil for some healthy fats. And then like I said earlier, just about one cap full of extra virgin olive oil. I'm just going to go ahead and mix all this up, kind of spread the dressing around. And then now that the tuna is completely done, we're just going to add that right on top of the salad. And I'm going to add a little bit more of this seasoning just right on top. And there you have it, this entire bowl of salad. It seems like a lot of food, I know, but the whole thing has around 500 calories. This is actually my favorite lunch that I eat every day. Uh, I never get tired of this. You can switch up things to give it more uh, variation to your preference, of course. But that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to show you a basic idea, so feel free to change it. And just remember, stay away from fattening dressings. Just go ahead and take a look at the back uh, before you eat them. But that's it for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed it, please rate the video because that helps me out so much. But I hope you guys have a good day, bye.